PC on the street on the plane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So thankful. So thankful to be able to take this trip, to be able to take the time off, that I have people helping me in Chicago for my events, that I enjoy my work, and I'm still gonna do some work. I'm so thankful. Yay! This is my office for the next two weeks. How's it going back there? I did candy on that today. No candy. Mm -hmm. Oh, they got lights on there. Lights on, lights on, lights. Get an auntie. She does all the things for you. I don't know, I don't know. First, Rupsha experience. I haven't washed anything yet. Okay. What are you making? Today, potato curry. Potato curry? Curry up the leaves. 
Gotta find some curry leaves. Tulsi leaves, you know, the Hindu people they keep on all that. Mm hmm The sign of sign of what? God's blessing. Blessing or something. Black pepper? Yeah, which is green right now. It's not ready. Okay, where are we? Black Lung. What's this called? The MG Road Beach. MG Road Beach. Mom, what is it? Groom blessing? Room service. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Thank you. Tushin. Nine minutes. I stayed in like something, or I didn't stay in something like this, but I went to something like this in Bangalore. Wow. Christine will just tell you if you're going too fast. Or whoever's in the back of the front. We got this. We'll just tell you. You want to go back? Huh? On three. One, two, three. Let's go die! Scooty gang on three. One, two, three. Scooty gang! 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 Scooty Together, had together. Good morning. Um, I'm out here wearing a nightie. <laughs> I, uh, I think Deepika Mutialia, Mutialia, Deepika from Live Tinted kind of inspired my openness to wearing a nightie and. They're just comfortable looking, so my mom gave me one. Um, I haven't really talked much on here. Uh, it's been kind of busy, and then I've just been trying to like just chill out with the camera and just like experience things. Um, but everyone has left. My uh, parents have left. My brother has left. My cousins have left. So it's just me now. Um, and I guess the reason why I decided to stay a couple days extra on my own was I just spent time with my grandma. I felt like I was coming later, so I just stay a couple extra days. Um, and then honestly, since I was missing like a gig, I didn't want to like come right after the gig. It just felt like kind of pointless. Um, and now it's been about like almost two weeks since I've been here and I'm just like a lot of emotions. Um, like, I'm happy I'm here so I can, like, spend more time with my grandma. I just feel like I've been away for so long. 
Um, yeah, I didn't think that much of it to be away from my husband for this long. But it is a long time to be away and I'm just realizing this is way too much time. Um, and then I think it's just also like, I don't know the language. That's something I'm kind of, kind of insecure and struggling with. And um, I don't want my parents here. I feel so silly like crying about this. Just like, you know, the fear of the unknown and doing things by yourself, but really like I have people here with me. We're gonna make the best of it. And I have a few more days. And yeah, it's gonna be fine. <laughs> Man, my videos, my work is truly therapy for me. Um, I was feeling really down. And then I just watched my second generation American video with hope um, to like choose some clips to post on social. And I just found like these four clips that I want to post and they're like really, you know, just like lifted me up and reminded me why I'm here and um, just things about my story and um, things that are important to me. and. You know, I'm going to talk about, you know, this first generation American experience and how that looks different for different people. And, you know, I think I'm insecure about the fact that I don't know Malayalam and I'm not confident in my Malayalam. And that's just something I need to be like, work on. <laughs> and, um, you know, this idea of like not having access to my grandparents. Well, like right now I have access to my grandmother um, for a few days and I need to take advantage of that and be with her and spend as much time with her. Um, and then the third thing was about opportunities and how much like my parents and then like Hope's grandparents have worked to give us these opportunities and to live these lives of opportunity opportunities. Um, and the last one was connections. Like my parents have connected me to great people, the Kanani community, has allowed me to connect to a lot of people. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to just like write this out right now. Okay, it's my first official day alone without my parents and my siblings. Um, obviously like my uncle and my aunt that live here are here, but we are going to go explore alone. And I literally have never done that before. Um, I have a driver coming to pick me up and we're gonna go to Kotaham which is where the shopping is, and we're going to try to do this alone with the very little Malayalam, and I'm just going to pray and hope that people speak English. <laughs> I'm such a bad, bad tourist, bad American, so I'm going to try with my Malayalam, my broken Malayalam. And then, you know what, honestly, I get irritated at the stores anyway with a lot of people, a lot of opinions, and people wanting to leave, so this will be interesting. Let's do this. shopping alone. It was really great actually. Very fast. I was able to make decisions very quickly. The only thing was communication was a little challenging. It was fine. Um, so yeah, it was a good experience. It wasn't stressful. It was pretty peaceful. Just made some decisions and kept it moving. Um, I'm leaving tomorrow. I'm a quarter of a way through this book. It's about music business. Um, which is likely going to be kind of my focus when I come back. Uh, I have my last wedding at the end of September, and then I'm gonna continue to kind of focus on Sanu and where we can take that. I would be more disappointed if Sanu's career didn't grow in a way that we can expose him to more people than like my show, because I feel so passionate about it. So yeah, that's that. One more day in India. It is my last day in India. I'm packing up. 
um yeah and just realizing what a blessing it is that i was able to like come here for two weeks and not worry about many things i mean there were moments where i was a little stressed because i had a wedding going on in chicago but you know it's such a blessing um and then also realizing like i don't want to be away from sunny for this long <laughs> like if i can control it and if i have the choice yeah i miss him um and he's been super helpful he's been like helping me post stuff because i wanted to keep with like a consistent weekly posting he's been posting for me because my internet connection has been really good and yeah he's the best um if you're lucky to have like a life partner um you know don't take it for granted because the time together is limited right and so I think a part of me when I was booking my flight, I was like, ah, two weeks, no big deal. And then when people would say stuff like, oh, your husband's not here, or you're not going with your husband, I'd be like, whatever, dude, I'm like independent, I do my thing. Um, but it is a blessing to have a life partner. And we're literally doing life together with like work and everything. So um, it's been great because he's helping me a lot, but I definitely miss him. I'll show you the view of my bedroom. This is my room. My two suitcases, packing up my sheets and such. This is our backyard. Um, I realize that there's so many firsts from this trip. First time traveling to India alone. First time traveling from India alone. First time celebrating a family wedding, which was super dope and a really cool experience. Um, seeing like the Chandan Charis for my cousin and how hype it was, that shit was really fun. And then um, seeing all the Kanai traditions, like how they're supposed to be done was cool too. First time going shopping alone. That was a super, that was a moment. I don't know, just thinking about that like really reminded me of my blessings and how this is really cool that I was able to come here and have all these firsts. So. I feel blessed. Thank you so much for watching. Please tune in every single week. I put out videos every single week. And subscribe and like this video and hit the bell for the reminders and do all those things. Thank you so much.